Hello everyone, it's that time of week again where we can come together for a song time and a story time. My name's Sam and it's so, so good to see all of you. Thank you for joining me. We're going to need some space for our songs a little bit later on because we do some actions and you might know some of those already to do along with me. And we're going to be able to look at a story and look at the pictures too. Shall we just have a little jump on the spot? Can you find a little space? And can we jump on the spot? That's good. Super good job. Oh, wonderful. Can we stretch out really sideways? Oh, what can you reach to your side? Super job. And can you clap your hands? We might need to do that in a little bit. Well done. And can you give me a big thumbs up? Well done, that's great. Okay, are you ready for our story this week? Shall we take a look? It's about a guy called Moses. God to the rescue. Joseph and his brothers grew old and died, but their children's children stayed on in Egypt, where they became a very large family. Later on, a new king began to rule, but this pharaoh didn't remember Joseph and he didn't like God's people. He made them into his slaves and beat them and made them work harder and harder. God's people cried out to God to rescue them and God heard them. He remembered his promise to Abraham. He would look after his people. He would find a way to set them free. One day, Moses was looking after sheep when something caught his eye. A bush was behaving very oddly. It was flickering with flames, but its leaves weren't burning up. He took a closer look. Moses, boomed a big voice. Moses let back. The bush was talking to him. I have heard my people's cries, God said. I have seen their tears, so I have come down to rescue them. Go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go free. Moses was afraid, but God said, I will be with you. So Moses went to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, Moses began, God says. God, said Pharaoh, never heard of him. Moses kept going. God says, let his people go free. Why should I? Pharaoh said. Don't want to, won't. So he didn't. So God gave Pharaoh ten warnings called plagues. First, God turned the river Nile into blood. No one could drink the water, but still Pharaoh would not let them go. So God made frogs come hopping and leaping and jumping in your bed frogs, in your hair frogs, in your soup frogs, all over everywhere frogs. Make them go away, Pharaoh screamed. Then your people can go. So God took the frogs away. But Pharaoh changed his mind. You can't go, he said. Then God sent zillions of gnats, but still Pharaoh said no. So then God sent swarms of flies. Flies buzzing in your eyes, flies. And after that, sickness and horrible boils and huge hailstones and a storm of locusts. Then darkness, when it should have been day, until it seemed that the whole world, creation and everything, was coming undone falling back into darkness and emptiness and nothingness. But each time Pharaoh said, Make it stop and then I'll let them go. And each time when God made it stop, Pharaoh changed his mind and said, Actually, no, you can't go. Finally, Moses warned Pharaoh, Obey God or he will have to send the worst thing of all. Pharaoh just laughed. <laughs> So God said, The oldest boy in each family of Egypt must die, but my people will be safe. God told his people to take their best lamb, to kill it, and put some of its blood on their front doors. When God passes over your house, Moses explains, God will see the blood and know that the lamb died in, instead of you. That night, it was just as God had said. Suddenly, piercing the darkness, echoing down the corridors of the palace, came a blood-curdling scream. 
Pharaoh's oldest son had died. And at last Pharaoh did what God said. Get out! Pharaoh shouted. Just go! And so that very night, Moses and God's people fled out of Egypt and out of slavery. They were free at last. God's people would always remember this great rescue and call it Passover. But an even greater rescue was coming. Many years later, God was going to do it again. He was going to come down once more to rescue his people. But this time, God was going to set them free forever and ever. The end. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. That was great. Super job, everyone. Well done. kids we're gonna sing oh mcdonald had a farm are you ready to do some animal noises with me as we sing this one we're gonna do some cows some pigs and some chickens let's be listening out for those noises old mcdonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o and on that farm he had some cows e-i-e-i-o with a moo moo here and a moo moo there here a moo there a moo everywhere a moo moo old MacDonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O With an oink <coughs> oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink <coughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Well done! Did you hear the noises and see the animals on screen? I did too. Well done for spotting those. Super job. Oh, that's all we have time for this week. We've sung some songs. We've had another lovely story. I'm going to see you next week, but we get to do it all again. Thanks so much for joining me. I've had loads of fun singing and reading with you. I'll see you next week. Take care. <laughs>